Dog owners in Makiki are asking the city to turn a small strip of land near the freeway at the edge of Makiki Park into a dog park. They complain there's nowhere close to allow their animals to run free and play. KITV 4's Dick Allgaier joins us live at Makiki District Park with residents' hopes for the future. Dick? Well, Paula, as we know, Makiki is close to town, a lot of condos here, and a lot of dog owners. And a lot of dog owners are, have been asking the city for a dog park for years. <laughs> Makiki District Park is a popular place. It has tennis courts, playgrounds for kids, basketball courts, and a community garden. Makiki is one of the highest density areas on the island, and a lot of residents have dogs. They want a dog park. If you live in a condo and you have a dog, you know how uh, spun up and how excited your dog can get, and you need a place to unwind, a good place for the dogs to socialize. You just become better dog citizens and better neighbors. Dog owners complain it is illegal to bring their dogs to the park. It's a hefty fine, and you cannot even walk through the park. The dog owners say their pets even seem to have an opinion on being able to run free. <coughs> Makiki dog owners have formed a nonprofit organization to push for a park. They even have t-shirts. They have suggested the city turn this small strip of land into a dog park. The area is behind the tennis courts next to the noisy H1 freeway. The city parks director says it is not a good idea to mix dogs in with regular park users, that the regular users would complain. Dog owners say the area near the freeway is used by the homeless and undesirables that putting in a dog park would not get in the way of other park users and would actually upgrade the area. And it would also make the park safer because now you'll have a lot of people with animals coming and going and dogs are very protective and it'll make the park safer for everybody. There's homeless people there sometimes. It's barely maintained. We just feel we could bring increase the property value over there. People that would normally not buy, such as in Makiki Park Place, when they find out that there is a dog park, they'll buy because it is a high density area. Land is uh, scarce. It adds value. So the dog owners tell us the Makiki Neighborhood Board is in favor of putting in a dog park up here, but the final decision is up to the city parks director. One final thing, we should get uh, Justin out here because it's raining a bit in Makiki tonight, <laughs> Laura.